Okay, so I can't really even start predicting what champions will counter this beast because I'm not even sure what lane he'll be getting played most in. Haven't seen a full squishy assassin AD support yet. Spike's passive prevents Spike's health from growing through items, instead granting him attack damage. It also turns a bunch of the damage he takes into a grey health bar, which he can regenerate when he's unseen by the enemy. His Q allows him to stab an enemy standing in front of him if the ability is just pressed, but will also get increased range and pull the enemy towards you if you hold down the button. As you can see, the range is quite long, but it's a skill shot and can be blocked by minions. Both casts also slow. His W is an instant twitch Q, but only lasts for 5 seconds. His E is a dash that will also leave a shadow behind him that will dash towards Spike after one second, stunning every enemy it passes through. My guess is that this ability will get nerfed the second patch after this champion gets released. It's very powerful as it stands. You can also flash to gain further distance and stun more targets. Finally, his ultimate will make him deal damage in the next zone that executes enemies below a certain threshold and also makes him dash to enemy champions hit. It also grants assisting allies full gold for the kill and can be recast within 20 seconds if it executes. The way he fights is actually so simple. I mean, go invisible, hit them with a full Q even though he will reveal him, dash to stun enemies after they've been slowed, keep on hitting them and finish them off with a kill steal ultimate that really isn't kill stealing anymore. He'll probably be either played on the bot lane as a support or in the mid lane and in both instances I can see him run ignite to help him delete enemies quicker. As for his power spikes, his level 2 with just his slow and stun can be enough to cause you some panic if he manages to hit you with both. Level 6 is when he'll be going for engages though. The build he might go for it is still quite confusing to me, but Relic's shield is the support item viable to him. Other than that, Death Stand seems to work great with his passive. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, he'll regain health if you don't have vision of him, so finish the job, his ultimate executes and allows him to keep on executing, and his shadow will dash to him directly, not the location he dashed to. Ultimately, have fun doing it.